Hey everybody, I'm Robert the Zombie Bargain Hunter and today is what sold on eBay for November 9th through the 15th. As you can see by the thumbnail, yeah, my sales have finally taken off. I believe I sold about double what I did the prior week. Uh, one of the main causes was my website was down for over a month. I didn't find out till last week. So yeah, um, most of the people that follow me know that I ran uh, the website plushgamesandmore.com and it takes me takes you directly to my eBay store but it like makes the store all nice and um, it makes the categories like there's a picture for each category and stuff like that it's a was a really nice website now my, my website is uh, basic it just points directly to my eBay store but at least it's working right now uh, last I think like four or five weeks it hasn't been working at all and the the guy that ran it didn't even tell me so uh, that accounts for a lot of the low sales, and I have it. I had it up this week, the whole week, and sales have been up. So hopefully that uh, cures what's going on <laughs> with my bad sales. Anyways, I've got a lot of um, new stuff. See, this is a USB blast stuff light. I bought a bunch of new things. I have Mario, Borderland mugs. So I picked up a bunch of new things. Um, once they start selling, I'll show you what I got. But this isn't a haul video, this is a what sold video, so let's get right into it. Alright. For November 9th through the 15th, my sales were $4,158.40. So you can see, that is a huge jump. I, I was doing a lot on my uh, website, I send a card in every single package I do, so my website being down was really, really bad for me. I don't know if it accounts for all the new sales this week, but it was a lot. <laughs> um, yeah, it was a big difference. Uh, compared to the prior 31 days, I'm up 25.9%. Uh, compared to the same period a year ago, I'm down 1.6%. Alright, let's get on with it. Uh, this was my last Pikachu Pop. You've seen um, my unboxing video. I got a bunch of Pikachus and there they were Pikachus and Squirtles they were a mystery box uh, sold all the Squirtles real fast uh, paid ten dollars for the mystery box sold the Squirtles for 20 the Squirtles <laughs> Squirrels they're not Squirrels they're Squirtles for uh, twenty one dollars and sold a Pikachu for seventeen ninety nine and then I have um, like little keychains and stuff so yeah I'll probably get like sixty dollars out of a box and I paid ten bucks so that is great. That was the end of those. This game, I don't know what happened. I couldn't sell this game for the life of me. Then all of a sudden this week, I don't know if they did an advertisement or something. This Quingo game, I've never heard of it. I got it at Kohl's for super inexpensive. I believe I paid like 50 cents, maybe a dollar for him. And I've had them on my store for probably a year and a half and didn't sell any. Maybe one, but yeah, they all sold out within uh, two weeks at uh, eleven sixty nine. So I'm happy with that. I still have another game. I believe it's like a uh, emoji game or something like that. All right, GameStop Batman exclusive. Uh, paid I believe five dollars for these if I'm correct. Um, two sold this week. You can see there. It's just a nice little set with. Uh, Dumbtello and Batgirl. <laughs> I had a haul and one of these uh, characters actually, the I believe it's Donatello's head fell off. <laughs> so uh, I had to actually go into the box and put it back on. Anyways, uh, two sold already for $35.99. Uh, Lexing Country. I believe I got these inexpensively at Best Buy. It was either Best Buy or Amazon. I got the... Xbox One and uh, PS4 version. Oh, and I got a Switch version too. But they are selling, I believe I sold all of the Switch version. And these are selling for $26.99. I believe I paid 3 or $4 for them. 5 maximum. But yeah, they're selling very well. So, nice little retail arbitrage. Here's another retail arbitrage. Um, got these at Best Buy for $100. Uh, the first one just sold for two oh six ninety nine. So yeah, I paid up for these, but for Apple, you you have to pay up for Apple. 
I'm mean, not a fan of Apple, but I'm a fan of selling them <laughs> if I get the chance. Alright, Hallmark Ornament. Ornaments are selling very well right now. Sold a bunch of uh, different Paw Patrols and Star Wars ornaments already. Just showing you the Paw Patrol because you don't want to go through all the ornaments I've sold. And this is the last one of this guy, so it's time to show it to you. <laughs> uh, this one sold for $13.49 and all four of them sold. So I'm out of those Paw Patrol guys. Uh, got these. These are my little ponies. They're like a mystery. You pop them open, this nasty confetti goes everywhere and makes a mess. So uh, well, good luck to the person who got this. <laughs> but that's what happens. Uh, had a bunch of these. I had about, I don't know, close to 100 of them. So I just put them in sets of four. Uh, got them for, I believe they were 75 cents a piece at um, Amazon. So what, $3 to make the set. And they were selling for fourteen thirty nine. I actually just found this one. It was it fell, uh, they fell below and found it and put the set back up. But that was my last one, so that was a great little find on Amazon. Uh, these Catwoman, I got these at GameStop. I believe I paid around two two fifty for these. Got a ton of them. I actually bought about ten of them, and then uh, I did one of their mystery buys and then it got another like 10 more so i actually had to update these so i got a bunch of them but hey for two bucks and they're selling for 17.99 now I'll, I'll keep selling them i mean they look great uh silicone uh, manual breast pump i just wanted to show you this because i will sell anything i'm not uh, there is nothing that i won't sell huh, same two pictures but whatever <laughs> Uh, sold a bunch of these when the pandemic started and finally sold my last one. These sold for $13.49. I sold bottles and a whole bunch of other things that I got super inexpensively. Robotech Anime Light. This one actually lights up, shows different colors of the Robotech guy. I guess he's a guy. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure he is. <laughs> Never watched Robotech, so I have no idea. Um, I have this one and I have a Minecraft one. I was actually wondering why my Minecraft one didn't sell. It's actually not listed anymore. Somehow it got taken down. Uh, but anyways, I got to relist the Minecraft one. But this Robotech one is selling for $14.39. But yeah, the Minecraft one's cool. It has like a dragon that lights up exactly like this. And I believe I sell that one for like 30 bucks. But not sure why eBay took it down. There was no reason for it. It just fell off somehow. Uh, Pokeball Plus. This is for the Nintendo Switch. Sold a bunch of these. I didn't even put other pictures of it because I knew they were going to sell real fast. Look, I, <laughs> I just took the generic picture that uh, eBay gave me when I plugged in the UPC code. And I just went with it because I know they sell like crazy. Uh, I got a lot of three more I just picked up uh, this week. And they sold within a few days. So yeah, um, you find these things for... Even at like fifteen dollars, it's a great buy because you're gonna sell them for thirty four. I could I was selling them at thirty seven, but I had the ten percent off of. So I'll let them go for thirty seven. Didn't pay that much for them. Atari Space Invaders Black Tie. This is uh from Loot Crate. It says Black Tie Geek. And there's little Space Invader characters. It's really cool little tie. Uh, got these out of the loot crate box. Just been sitting around. They weigh nothing. I, mean, I think they they shipped out for like one ounce. Anyways, uh, two sold so far for ten seventy nine. I believe I have six more of them. I think that's wrong. Uh, Disney. This is flounder. This one's really a cool little pillow. I'll show you the the main one. <laughs> that's how he comes, and the the blanket like wraps up inside of him see right there it just like goes inside I don't know if you can get it back in after you take it out I, I guess you can but it, it'll be pain <laughs> uh, got these off a of Disney store clearance it was uh, they were already on clearance and then it was uh, of course a clearance off of the clearance so I picked up everyone they had I believe they came out to like three dollars at the end of it anyways uh, they are selling for twenty four twenty nine and three sold three sold <laughs> All right, on to the plush. Kelly toy, laugh pack, joke telling, purple green elephant. 
had this guy for a long time. I thought he would sell for a bunch when I got him. Still only paid like 50 cents, maybe a quarter at the Goodwill bins when I found him. Just put in batteries and yeah, he just a joke telling elephant. But he was he didn't comp for very much and he wound up selling for ten seventy nine. And he took a good year and a half to sell, so not as good as I thought he would be. Another one that I thought would be uh, sell a lot quicker. This is a Mickey Mouse hand puppet. From the Disney store. Or maybe because I put Disney store. <laughs> uh, whoops. Little typing error there. Uh, this one has little plastic eyes. He's been in my store for probably a good three years. As you can see by the price. I would never have listed a, a Mickey Mouse uh, that low. But I don't raise the prices too much. Unless I redo the pictures. And then I'll, I'll play with the listing again. But since I didn't do it with this guy. He sold for $11.69. Alright, Thanksgiving plush starting to sell. This is a turkey. I actually sold a bunch of the Beanie Baby. Uh, uh, the turkeys. I think his name is Gobbles. Sold a ton of those. I had a bunch of them. I had about 20. Uh, they were only selling for like 10 bucks. But yeah, these turkeys with all these colors do sell pretty well. As you can see, the, the Gobble sells for 10. This one sells for $26.99. He's a really nice turkey. So if you ever find uh, turkeys like this, make sure you get them listed. It's turkey time. <laughs> well, I'll get them listed for next year. It's kind of too close to Thanksgiving now. All right, Yamako. This is a, a large little wiener dog or Weimar. I'm not going to even pronounce that. <laughs> not sure what that says, but all right. He's a gray dog there. That's I pronounced that. Uh, he is about what? 15, no, 18 inches long. Has a big black nose. Yomoko Classics. Yomoko Classics is a very good brand. People do search for those brands. And look at his eyes. It's really cool. He's got the plastic nose going on there. Weimar. I'm not doing it. <laughs> uh, let me know in the comments how to say that girl. <laughs> how to say his name. Anyways, uh, he sold for 1979. Hug fun, brown teddy bear. This is a huge teddy bear. Uh, very easy to ship. You just tuck his uh, head into his belly. You roll him up and you get him into a bag that um, I have bags that are like 14 by 18. So they're perfect for pirate ship. Cost me, um, I think it was like $12 to ship them through pirate ship. As long as you get them in a small enough bag, pirate ship is the best thing for these guys. And I still got to do a video on how I pack all these big guys. But yeah, this one sold for $31.49. And his brother right here, the gray version, also sold too for $31.49. Uh, not to the same person either. So yeah, a lot of teddy bears selling this week, which is great. I mean, get rid of them. <laughs> they take up so much space. Uh, here's another large uh, item that sold. Or a plush. This is a purple sock monkey. He has little purple polka dots and little stripies on his foot. Really cool little plush, but happy he sold because he took up a lot of space. Uh, he finally sold for, well not finally, I only got, put him up maybe two weeks ago. Uh, but he sold for $53.99. That is a great find for a little sock monkey. Well, not little. <laughs> uh, bananas the monkey. This is a Thai original. Uh, got $14 for this little tie. So yeah, even though they're tiny, see this one's only six inches. If they're cool looking, you can see the gold eyes. He really looks great. His eyes weren't scratched or anything. And um, yeah, just a nice looking toy. He sold for $14.39. Great price for a little tie beanie baby. Uh, DreamWorks, tr uh, I almost said trolls, <laughs> just so used to saying DreamWorks trolls. Uh, DreamWorks, How to Train Your Dragon, this is Light Fury. Uh, got him on a clearance from Amazon or a sale, I'm not sure it was a clearance or a sale, but it was really inexpensive. I believe paid $5 for this guy. Shipped, got three of them, and all three have sold for $26.09. Fortnite Durburger. 
uh, this uh, this funny hamburger thing. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where it comes out in the the game or anything because Fortnite's a game. If you don't know, um, don't know how he pops up, but these are selling actually overseas. So um, I'm getting like 30, 32 or something for each Dur burger, and it cost me 10.99 to ship. So making about 20 bucks off each of the, one of these guys. So which is a great great deal that's why I always preach ship it yourself you make extra money off the, the shipping because eBay charges them too much and you, through pirate ship it's such a big savings yeah I'll have to do a video on how I do that through pirate ship but yeah that's a big savings and you make a lot more money uh, Minnie Mouse this is just a, just a generic Minnie Mouse just different colors though purple and pink I think uh, they like it because it popped. It really popped off that blue background. It makes her look really great on a different color background, other than the white and black, or that people usually put on these. Mostly white, or sometimes they use the ugly brown color, which is ugh, ridiculous. Don't know why people do that, but hey, they do to each their own. <laughs> anyway, she sold for $19.79. Uh, Pet Smart's Chance Collectible. Uh, this was a different one. Actually uh, had his name on his collar. See right there, it says Chance. Uh, usually they have a date on their paws. They, because PetSmart does a uh, sale every single year, uh, where they do for charity. They sell Chance, which is the dog, and they do Lucky, which is the cat. Uh, they actually had had a, a unicorn last year. I don't know the name of that one. I don't know if it sold very well. But hopefully, um, if they do start selling, I will pick them up because they are, they are only five dollars in stores. So um, seventeen ninety nine, and even at normal price of five dollars, would be a great sale. But anyways, um, let's go into the next one. <laughs> a lot of Christmas bears sold this week. Let me show you a, just a quick rundown because there was just too many quick Christmas bears to uh, to show you. Uh, this is a snowflake. It says 2014 on your on this feet. A lot of uh, questions are, hey, do those the ones with the uh, numbers sell for you? Because I usually get rid of them. I said no, never get rid of them. This is a Snowflake Teddy Bear by Dandy. They are collectible. This one sold for 17.99. Uh, this little Aurora Christmas. This one doesn't have a date on it. I had her or him for a little while. It's probably been like two three years. As you can see by the price, it's eleven fifty one. Um, but yeah, I finally sold this. This guy bought him, and he bought this one right here, which is a Dillard's one with, of course, another date on the foot. So, like I said, don't be afraid to sell the ones with the date. Let me show you the date. It is right there. I think two thousand three, two thousand eight. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's furs. It's too furry. I can't read it anymore. I should have it on the title though. Let's see, uh, heart scarf. No, I don't have it on title. Whatever. Anyways, uh, those two sold to the same person. This one sold for twenty four twenty nine, and this one sold for eleven fifty one. Uh, if a person buys two items from me, they get five percent off. So, I'm not doing the math to subtract that from the <laughs> from the uh, total. You guys do if you want. Uh, another Christmas bear with a uh, date on them. This is a twenty sixteen. This isn't even a collectible Christmas bear. This isn't a dandy or anything else like that. This is just a generic white, I guess he's like a polar bear, uh, with a snowflake on his uh, little red scarf. Anyways, this one sold for sixteen nineteen. Another one with the date. This is uh, 2017, 2339 this one went for. Just going to jump through those real fast because <laughs> I don't want to dwell on those. But yeah, if you have a date on them, it, they will sell. Uh, there's proof right there. I've only had those up for like two weeks at the most and they sold right away. Uh, Disney Parks Tangled Rapunzel. This one actually sold for, I believe it was 41 or 40. It was in the $40 range. It's actually going to Germany. I think it's going to Germany. Oh, it's going out of the country. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Uh, he's going to uh, out of the country, and so it cost me ten to ship. So I made about 
about $30 on this guy. He's a real cool, shiny uh, Rapunzel chameleon. What is his name? Uh, Pascal. So yeah, keep your eye out for these guys because the bigger ones, this is the 11-inch ones, do very well. The little ones, uh, hold on to them for a little while, but the bigger ones do very well. And this one went out of the country to make you even to make me even more money. A uh, pair of kissing. Uh, these are a little swan from Sugarloaf. Just a cool little white swans. See, it has a little heart, shiny wings. Just a generic toy from NEN and the Sugarloaf and Kelly Toy. Those are all the same, basically the same company. But anyways, this one sold for $19.79. Eric Car Carlisle, the grouchy little ladybug. I just threw this one up for real inexpensively. He has bad scratches on the mirror. So normally I'd list them for almost $20, but they had scratches and a bunch of different things. I usually probably go for like $18.99. But since he was scratched up, it sold him cheap and it sold pretty fast for $10.79 just to get rid of him. And I didn't want to donate him. Uh, here's another bear. This is a gun teddy bear with curly fur. These are really cool. You can see he has eyes and the nice soft nose. <laughs> curly fur belly and there's the gun tag. Yeah, keep your eye out for these. There's... Um, the white version, this is kind of like the tan version, and then there's a darker brown version, but they usually sell pretty fast. Listed him maybe two weeks ago, and he already sold for almost 20 bucks. Uh, Kelly, to Kelly Toy Unicornimals. Ooh, almost messed that up. <laughs> um, he's been around for probably a good year. He's 12 inches tall. It has a nice uh, rainbow tail right here. You can see right here. <laughs> Uh, not the prettiest. I probably should have put him in a different background. Maybe the blue background. He didn't pop as well as the other ones. But he still uh, got 1529. So yeah, keep your eye out for anything with a unicorn horn. They always sell. Especially the, the llamas. The llama corns do very well. And so do the mermaid corns. <laughs> they are tongue twisters though. Uh, Kuropi Sanrio, a lot of Sanrio items going out this week. It was a lot of generic, just Hello Kitty and stuff, so I just skipped it, didn't want to show it to you. I had a few Tuxedo Sams that went really inexpensively. But this is Kuropi, he sold for $16.19. Anything different from Sanrio will sell very well, so keep your eye out for items like this. I put him up probably a month ago, and he already sold for $16.19. All right, orange brown bunny rabbit. Um, had this guy for a few couple of years. Uh, bought him at I believe it was either Rite Aid or Raw Grains. Um, didn't put him up for a year, so yeah, it was my fault. <laughs> he should have sold a lot sooner. Anyways, um, got him 90% off, and he sold for 15.29. So don't be afraid to put your Easter stuff up now. If that's all you have, put it up. It will sell. Just make sure you have nice keywords and you'll do okay. Uh, Gans Webkin, Beagle, Basset Hound, Doggy. I'm not going to read all that. <laughs> this is just a Gans Webkin, just a generic Gans Webkin, Basset Hound. Some sell for very good money. Others will sell for around 12 to 15 This one is the $14 version. So not a great find, but at least he's not 10 bucks. And he's great for, what, a quarter, 50 cents that I spent at the bins. Here is a nice big fat one. He's a giraffe. He has a little heart on his butt. Like I said, I just roll up from the head into the belly and then shove him into a... I believe the bag is 14 by 18 or 14 by 16. I forget. Um, but yeah, you just shove him in there and then use pirate ship to... Figure out your costs, and it's usually around 10 to 12 bucks to ship these guys. And got 40, 49, so made about 30 bucks on them. Not counting fees, of course. Uh, assassination classroom got these a bunch of these from Loot Crate. They were just thrown in the box. It's just a happy face, and whatever this face is, <laughs> I don't know. Assassination platform, uh, classroom, just a nice little anime. Uh, two sold so far. I have six more available and it sold for $14.39. So 
So always keep your eye out for anime. It always sells well. And I can't play with my poop anymore. <laughs> uh, the poop emoji sold. This is the farting poop that I showed in one of my beginning of one of my videos. Uh, you love this guy. He is hilarious. You just squeeze him and he does different poop sounds. But he sold pretty fast. I should have put him probably put him up for like twenty five dollars, so it would never sell. <laughs> well, anyways, uh, he sold for sixteen nineteen. Uh, Chick-fil-A, eat more chicken. These are a little tiny version. Uh, the bigger ones do sell for around $16 to $18. The small ones, you're going to get like 12 This is a football one and a, just a generic one that I threw in there. Just to make it look a little bit better. Um, they sold for $12.59, so not much. But these are so tiny. You can't expect much more than that for those little guys. Uh, dark gray gray black bow yeah <laughs> he's a teddy bear yeah put it that way he has really cool eyes uh, like a what is that a like a maroon nose purple nose he has a real different nose i didn't even notice that till right now uh about 11 inches tall just barely a, just basic uh generic teddy bear but has just real cool colors and cool uh pads on his feet and you can see I put little faux leather paw pads and it's gently used and got $14.39. So yeah, bears, like I told you, bears sold a bunch this week and a large, a lot of large items too. Uh, Vern from Over the Hedge. This is the little turtle. They also have the, the raccoon also, but Cole's Care. Uh, the regular price in most Cole's Care items are 10 bucks. I mean, five bucks. And now Disney items are going for 10 But got this out of the Goodwill bins for, what, 50 cents weight-wise. And he sold for $14.39. And last but not least, this is a Kalu teddy bear. This one actually went out of the country. I believe the person paid $46 to have it shipped there. And, of course, it cost me um, around $10.99 to ship out of the country and so i made what 30 bucks off of them so that's a great find anyways please give the video a thumbs up subscribe if you're new and don't fiddle fart around get all your listings up guys um i did purchase 12 more of the blue the goodwill blue boxes the the mystery box is a plush so next video that'll probably be that i'll probably do two or three of those so that'll be exciting anyways take care guys see you next video bye